So I will do three originals. Today, September 26th, is the 249th anniversary of the birth of John Chapman of Massachusetts, a real guy who planted thousands of apple trees in the late 18th and early 19th century in the Ohio River Valley, and who became known to us all as Johnny Appleseed. In his own times, uh, he was really a much-loved guy, uh, regarded as somewhat eccentric uh, for all those trees he was planting and for being continually like in motion on the move, either by foot or, or in his canoe. So he created a whole bunch of, of small apple orchards uh, for the purpose of giving or selling uh, the, uh, the little seedlings uh, to the pioneer settlers. Uh, as they moved westward, most of these apples were, or at least many of these apples, were used to make cider, including hard cider. And they were also used for vinegar, uh, used for cooking purposes, even medicinal purposes. Apples had a lot of different, different uses. So this guy, John Chapman, he traveled uh, uh, planting these, uh, these orchards all over Ohio and Indiana, mostly along the rivers. He cleverly sited these small orchards in places suitable as habitats where they, he was pretty sure there would soon be development. And sure enough, the uh, settlers eventually coming in were really glad to have his seedling trees that were kind of ready at hand for transplanting and uh, developing their homesteads. So his success at planting apple trees was kind of driven by three things, I, I think. He was savvy about the cultural the commercial, and the ecological. So this first song is a song that might have been sung by those settlers about this fellow that they knew and liked real well, Apple John. John Chapman, he lived for others That is carved upon his stone And along the Ohio up to the Midwest He paddled, he hiked alone He was welcome in the settlers' cabins Knew the names of the wives and kids Brought medicinal plants from the woods and the meadows Brought them news of what Jesus did Apple Johnny, hey! Apple Johnny, ho! ho. Paddling his canoe on down the Ohio Apple Johnny, ho! Apple Johnny, hey, hey, there's a cloud of apple blossoms on a fine spring day. He had one job above all others, planting apple trees from seeds, establishing claims to wild lands with his nurseries and meeting homesteader needs. But John would not graft his apples. He'd plant root stock and move on. His apples were small and so sour you'd spit them. But folks loved Apple John. It was Apple Johnny. Hey! Apple Johnny, ho, ho, paddling his canoe on down the Ohio. Apple Johnny, ho, Apple Johnny, hey, hey, 
you can smell those apple blossoms on a fine spring day. So the settlers would craft their pippins, grimes, and roam. So delicious they'd make good hard cider, tip their hats and their hogsheads to the frontiers, die in the shop. Johnny Appleseed, oh Johnny Appleseed. Jesus is our great provider, but Johnny brings us good hard cider. Plant your apple trees, Johnny Apples. Apple Johnny, hey, Apple Johnny, ho. He's the most peculiar man along the Ohio. Apple Johnny, ho, Apple Johnny, hi, hi. Those apples fall to earth beneath the autumn sky. Johnny Appleseed, Johnny Appleseed. All his apples are gnarled and small, but he's a hero to us all. Such a hearty breed, Johnny Appleseed. John Chapman, he lived for others. That's what's carved upon his stone. But along the Ohio, up to the Midwest, he paddled, he hiked alone. John Did Chapman. you say his apples were sour? Yes. They were very sour because if you grow apples from seeds and don't graft them, they're kind of like crab apples. So they're, oh. they're very small and sour and gnarled and kind of nasty, but they do make good cider, especially hard cider. <laughs> So this is from a collection of uh, about 10 songs that I have put together as a one-man show about Johnny Appleseed. And uh, I invent various characters that he meets, uh, could have met theoretically, but there aren't very good records about John Chapman, Johnny Appleseed. He never wrote anything down, never gave any speeches that were reported in the newspaper, none of that kind of record. Um, and one of the things that I invented was a love interest for him. And uh, this is a song sung in the first person, so sung in Johnny's voice. New England born and here I am a thousand miles from my coast I felt the rhythm of the tides perhaps that's what I miss the most quiet ways stand out in this our new and boisterous land my oyster shell is closed to view. I show you water and the sand. But you know this oyster holds a pearl. Its luster shines in its own world. If we could pry that shell apart, you'd know the leaping in my heart. My blood and mine You know that I'm your kind I 
I set out and took a chance, a wandering pilgrim heading west. Explored the new world, found some friends, began my own peculiar quest. My friends all hurry to get rich, but I don't seem to have a dime. At times I disappear, but in my place comes apple blossom time. I sensed the tides that rose and fell and reached my woodland citadel. If I could pry that shell apart and feel the leaping in my heart, my blood and mind. You'd know that I'm your kind. You pay attention. You feel wonder. I see the flash of the lightning and count the time for thunder. You sense a pearl inside the shell. Take it from one who knows full well, with time to pry that shell apart. You'll feel the leaping in your heart, your blood and mind. You'll know you are my kind. Pay attention. Feel wonder. See the flash of the lightning and count the time for thunder. Sense a pearl inside the shell. Take this from one who knows full well. With time to pry the shell apart. We'll feel the leaping in our hearts and blood and mind. You know you are my kind. You know you are my kind. Thank you. Fun, Jim. Nice. Nice job. As far as we know, Johnny Appleseed never married, never had any kids, but I'm giving him this opportunity to meet this lovely woman. Uh, a whole <clears throat> series of, of songs and, and plot points in the show has to do with politics. Uh, after all, this fella Chapman was uh, the first generation to be born after the Declaration of Independence. I mean, his father fought with, with George Washington at the, and he also fought at, at Bunker Hill before he joined the Continental Army. And so there's, uh, there's an opportunity here, I thought, to talk about this new democracy and, and what people were, were hoping for. And uh, in this case, uh, this particular song is set in George Washington's presidency, so the very first presidency. And there was a rebellion in western Pennsylvania. And uh, it almost got violent. Washington put on his old uniform and uh, rode over to western Pennsylvania with 10,000 militia. And uh, when they got a look at that, they, uh, they decided maybe they weren't going to have a revolution after all. But the idea of this early point of having a, an insurrection, having people saying, well, wait a minute, the revolution was great, but it's not over yet. At the Mingo Creek meeting 
we pledged to our goal. We drank a little whiskey, we raised a liberty pole. We're in this together and we've got a thing straight. It's not the Garden of Eden, but we're at the front gate. See, it's not over yet. We're not where we need to get. We're not done yelling or rebelling. It's not over yet. Not over At the meeting house we talked, folks of the soil, how the crops are doing, taxes and toil, and how this new country seems to favor the few. See, the poor man's got ideas what we could do, so it's not over yet. We're not where we need to get. Not done yelling or rebelling. It's not over yet. Not over yet. Oh, Washington, Hamilton, men whom we trust. Oh, why are they so set on seeing us go bust? Liberty ain't much if the rules ain't fair. Our pursuit of happiness disappears in thin air. So it's not over yet. We're not where we need to get. We're not done yelling or rebelling. Helen, it is not over yet. It's not over yet. You can pay me in whiskey. I suppose I don't mind. But I got a wife and children and I'm falling behind. I am falling behind when the day's work is done. Falling behind, have we lost, have we won? And it's not over yet. We're not where we need to get. We're not done yelling or rebelling. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Right now it's far from even, and that's what shapes the task. At the Garden of Eden, what's fair is all we ask. So you can pay me in whiskey, I suppose. I don't mind. But I got a wife and children, and I'm falling behind. I am falling behind when the day's work's done. I'm falling behind, have we lost, have we won? So it's not over yet, we're not where we need to get, not done yelling or rebelling. It's not over yet, it's not over yet, it is not over yet. I really love that last one. Man, your rhymes are amazing in that. Oh, thank you. Good you can really tell a story. <laughs> it was a great story. I did a lot of research on this guy, and uh, 
and that and that time period. Those things really fun. <clears throat>